Uh, good afternoon. Can I just say what an enormous pleasure it is to welcome you to the official launch of the MasterCard Foundation Scholars Programme. Uh, absolutely groundbreaking for us, enabling over 200 ta talented African scholars who have limited access to educational opportunities in their home country to come and study with us in, e in Edinburgh. <laughs> Mauritius is a very small country off the coast of Madagascar. It's part of Africa. We, have, we are a welfare state, so technically healthcare is free, but when it comes to services such as reproductive health, family planning and women's health, um, there's a huge lack of organization and management and their contradict contradictory information that is given out and that's really dangerous because you find uh, young women unable to kind of make decisions about their own health and their own bodies but also not able to access the proper channels to make these informed decisions and this it's really what attracted me to this is I really want to go back home and help improve things uh, in terms of health care for women and reproductive health care and this struck me as an opportunity to kind of learn the skills that I can take back and knowing that the scheme is catering for that specific uh, idea and that specific want and need to go home is really helpful. In the 1920s, 30s and 40s we saw a large number of African scholars come here. In many ways, it was easier to come and study in that period. More recently, of course, we've had to work much harder to get scholarships and overcome some of the regulatory issues. And I think it's important we recognise what the early graduates did and recognise we have to support current graduates to make the same kind of impact across the continent. I think the MasterCard Scholars Programme is a great example of what we need to be doing as a university. We really need to be bringing African students here and supporting them to have transformative international learning experience and really equipping them to go home and make a difference in their communities and countries. And I think it's through that indirect training and that indirect building of their capacity we can have the biggest impact in Africa alongside our research of course. It's a compact city which you can walk for everywhere, like to be like 10 or 20 minutes. And the university itself it has so many facilities that you can use, like in the libraries, the cafes, the reading spaces, the computer labs. Everything is so accessible to students, which is a really good thing. I'm really impressed by the support I got from the MasterCard team. Like they were really helpful since the day we got in the airport, in the accommodation, showing us around the city, on the banks and everything. They were really helpful. I didn't think I would get much support when I applied. Like I only thought it would be a funded, like you cover your tuition fees, but they were so helpful and treated us like a family, really. This is the first time I've had the opportunity, or anyone in my immediate family has had the opportunity to pursue a master's, which is like a real change for me. And the whole concept of MasterCard is to build leaders, transformative leaders, so people who go and give back to their communities. So there's a whole wide network of change enthusiasts all over the world who want to go back and go make change in Africa. So that's like giving people the opportunity to learn, to gain knowledge, to gain skills from wherever they are, either in African universities or universities out of Africa, just to go back home to make change. And that's like pivotal to making change in Africa and sustainable, that sustainable change. We want to hope the future we want to see eventually on the continent. So yeah, it's really important.